YouTube Lola here. I thought I would come and show you my freshly washed hair before I put in some more crochets. But it's a different set of crochets. We've got something a little bit different. Chexy color. Just saying. So yeah. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to make it easier on myself by using even fewer parts uh, from the previous parts. Having and I'm also going to be using some new products that were So, uh, not going bananas, which is a conditioner, detangler, and styler. And Jazzy's very vanilla frizz taming lotion. And uh, to seal in moisture, I'm going to be using my little cute Shea oil from Shea Butter Cottage. All right. So, let's get it. Using this crochet hook I got for a pound, I start on freshly washed and detangled hair and apply the not going bananas and the first tammy lotion to the first section. But the banana smell was a bit too strong for me, so I just continued the rest of the sections with the first tammy lotion and the shea oil. And yes, I actually did spill a bunch of the first tammy lotion on myself whilst trying to show what color and consistency it was. And then I just quickly cornrowed each section all the way to the back and then once I ran out of hair from the cornrow I would two strand twist the hair to the ends. And here is the finished result, nine cornrows, really quite neat. And then I just cornrow along the back and tuck and spin pin them away. Ready to crochet. So here's from the first row that I inserted and then a few more rows inserted in and then I'm going to show you in the front how to latch hook like a pro. So first I'll slide the latch hook through the section of the hair that I want, not too close to my edges and then having the latch open I drape the hair over and then close the latch. Pull the hair through with the latch hook and undo the latch. Then I just loop the ends through the top of the hair and that secures it nicely. I'm just gonna do that again and again. I'm just finishing off the crown area of the hair and basically doing this on feel because I can't see it. I'm just filling out with a few more strands before I'm happy. Hair is all done. So I'm just gonna let you in on a few tricks apart because obviously I have straight I have corners going straight back is that I have um, inserted on this side somewhere in here as well, but mainly here I've inserted uh, one of these and one of the um, color four, so dark brown, basically where you go under and through two cornrows, loop, pull back your latch hook, bring out the loop, hold it after the second cornrow, and then loop it, loop the ends through so that it pulls both cornrows together, and then let it fall backwards. And I've done it first with a, a color four, which is dark brown, and then I did it with a, a, the ombre uh, RT27, which is this lovely blonde color, so that basically you hopefully don't see like a part that goes all the way back. So, what do you think? Ah, uh, man, gosh, this hair is giving me life. I always forget that when I put in color and hair extensions that I end up being like, oh man, you have to color my hair. Here's one thing I also like. The fact that when you pull it up, because of the ombre effect, it just looks, you know, you can do like a proper look because of the ombre uh, maybe you could do like a you know uh, this kind of look oh my gosh yes so yeah oh my gosh giving me life oh man I was so ready for another big hair new install so we thank God we thank God see you guys later Oh, 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 oh,